may go to Mass on Sunday. Well, I have hundreds of reasons for not wanting to go to Mass on Sundays. Here are some of them. After a good late night out, I need a long lie, or if I'm feeling rough after all that drinking the night before. I have to go for my sports training. I have too much homework to do, and I'm going out to meet my friends. I could go on and on with other excuses. What can it do for me? For many Catholics, going to Mass on Sunday can be a chore or a drag, but is that how we ought to feel? For Catholics, Sunday is a day of obligation to attend Mass. In the Third Commandment, in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8, God says to Moses, Remember to keep holy the Lord's day. It was also the custom of Jesus to go to the synagogue on the Sabbath. There are so many churches around, so if you can't manage to attend your own parish, there are always other Catholic churches to go to, either for the Vigil Mass or Sunday morning, afternoon or evening Mass. Mass is the same everywhere in the world. Even if you don't understand the language, you should be able to follow what's going on. With the hustle and bustle of our daily life, spending an hour during the Sunday Mass can be a peaceful and wonderful thing. It gives us the opportunity to praise God and thank Him for all that He has done for us and all that is about to happen in our lives. There are two main parts of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Word and the Liturgy of the Eucharist. The Liturgy of the Word focuses on the Bible readings. Each week, different selections are taken from the Bible and the homily gives us some explanation of what we have heard. The Liturgy of the Word is important because it helps to connect us directly to God, helping us apply our faith to everyday aspects of our lives. The second part of the Mass is the Liturgy of the Eucharist. It is the high point of the celebration because the Mass was established at the Last Supper by Jesus. He shared one last meal with his disciples before he suffered on the cross. During Mass, the Catholic Church teaches us that in the celebration of the Eucharist, the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 22 verse 19 says, And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The Holy Eucharist, or Communion, strengthens our union with Jesus Christ. Missing Mass would mean losing the opportunity to receive the Holy Eucharist. In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 53, Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Pope Francis also stressed that it is important for children preparing for Holy Communion to go to Mass, as he said, It is the first step toward belonging strongly, really strongly, to Jesus Christ. And he also said, In the Eucharist, Jesus truly gives us his body and blood for the remission of our sins. Going to church on Sunday is not just a basic Catholic precept. It is a way for us to nurture our faith and grow spiritually. The early Christians, and even in some countries nowadays, the people were subject to great torture and hardships because of their religious beliefs. However, they persevered and continued to practice their faith. So, like them, we have to be passionate and open ourselves to seek the Lord's presence during Mass. Being part of the Church, we become one big spiritual family of God.